Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about importing and exporting an ESX file, as well as changing the profile from carrier to contract, etc., of that ESX. As you can see here, I've set up the screen such that we have Exact on the left half, and I have one of our ESXs that I have dragged and dropped over here to show you how to do this. First and foremost, we are under the Control Center tab here of our Exact Commit screen. On the right side, you'll see data transfer. Left click that, and you'll see this window up. Are you trying to transfer a folder, uh, from a folder to a folder, exact analysis, from the cloud? Uh, are you trying to retrieve, send, or delete? In this case, we're going to try and import an ESX from the desktop. So as you can see, I have already have the desktop selected as where I want to be looking. And I'm going to hit select items. And the only thing on my desktop as an ESX that I can drag in here or that I can import is the exact hack val1 which is located here as well. I'm going to hit retrieve and it says succeeded. Save, just close it up. So if I go to my projects tab over here you'll see the exact hack val1 is now there. I'm going to right click this and delete it because there's another way that you can import or export an ESX. It's my preferred method. It's much faster than all those button clicking. I'm just going to select the ESX that's on the home screen and I'm going to drag it over to Xactimate and it does the exact same thing, succeeded. And you'll see it right there, it just added it. I can do the exact same thing, I'm gonna delete here, and I can drag out and send it there. Now, what happens if I want, as you can see, this is in the carrier profile here, and I uh, somebody asked me to send it to them in the contractor profile. Well, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna right click the actual uh, estimate ESX here, I'm gonna go to duplicate. Once I click duplicate, it gives me the option to change the profile here of what I wanna be writing under. So in this case, we're going from carrier to contractor. I will change it to uh, contractor. You'll see I, it updated it to add an additional dash one to give it a different name. And when I hit OK, there it is. Now I have the same exact estimate under the contractor profile. Thank you for following. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll have another one for you next week. Thank you.